I keep, I've been wanting to record lately, like when I'm driving, because I've had to go to a lot of like country areas. I want to pull over and beat the fuck out of this idiot behind me with his goddamn brights on. Do we, do we sit to <laughs> I just started recording, <laughs> and you want to rant like that, you want to explode. You know, you didn't watch the videos in the past. That's Anthony. It's fucking too big behind Anthony. me, man. God he does have it. his brights on. See so if I can. Yeah, if that blinded me, I'm sorry. Austin's in the back seat. It is. 520 on the 4th of July, we're at the White's Flea Market. I've never been out here before, so pretty excited for that. That guy really, oh my gosh, you're, it's hitting me too. You're a fucking dick. Gosh. I'm going to slam it. Oh. I just want to show you a little bit of what it's like game hunting in Ohio. It's dark because you can't see it. But it's probably the most boring place ever to game hunt when it comes to what you see in the way. There's just nothing. There's fields. Fields and fields. Well, I mean, we're going to be in Indiana today, but still, fields and fields and fields. I'll show you a little bit more as it gets brighter. Oh, you can't see nothing on the sides. I'm not sure how chill on the corny it looks. You almost missed the turn, my man. And there's another turn right down there. Welcome to the White. Well, I'll get, we'll catch up with you. All right, I'm going to let you go. Unless they're in this other box. Okay. Alright. Is there a black panel chat? What? What's, is there anything in there? I think Mark stuck something in that one. There's the zoom in screen on that one. Yeah, there's one there. Hinges broke. Yeah. But there's another one over in here somewhere. A white one and a pink one? I was looking for some like some unit like boy colors or unisex colors. All I have right now is fucking pink DS's. Well, there's some. Pink and white is all I have. Pink don't even sell too fucking. No, because the one I bought for you last week was white. I'm saying I got pink don't sell. No, I, I got like four or five pieces. Boxes and boxes for games. As you see, I'm running out of fucking place to put shit. <sighs> I need to do an extra table in there and stuff. Yeah. This fire is not a bad game. I bought it like five times. <laughs> what? Spyro. I can sell it cheaper than that. Video games just don't really sell anymore. I've been buying more other shit than video games lately. Well, I got plenty of that shit too. <laughs> I've been buying like old toys and jewelry. Where is it, Thirty bucks on Macari. Got these two for five. Anthony picked up a couple NES games box. Nothing too crazy. Civ, Kings of the Beach, and Hoops for what, 18? 18. Not too bad. Like it's yours, it's tested working. Oh, yeah. That's just wallet. I'm here to reward it straight. Okay. Cool. Okay. 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 Spec Ops on PS1 for 50 cents and Bust to Move on DS for 50 cents. Tons and tons of excitement. Right from under me. Def Jam Fight for Nero for two dollars. Right when I'm complaining. Right when I'm complaining. So right when Anthony says, hey, you should record showing how many people are here. Austin pulls that out of the stack for two dollars. <laughs> Gonna sell it to me for 25, which is absolutely a steal. Excited for that. And then sell me NASCAR Heat 2 and uh, the crew for 15. It's a pretty car, but found a N64 with just the jumper pack. No controller, you want a 10, got it for 7. And then just now picked up both the Siren games on PS2. I mean, both the Suffering games on PS2 and the Siren for 2 bucks, so not too bad. Final of the day, still dollar by dollar, it's probably Def Jam, because the Xbox will make good money off of. But if you're going percentage to value, it's definitely gotta be that Def Jam. Two dollars. Yep. Two dollars. Over.
Picked up San Andreas Mortal Kombat and Liberty City Stories for five. Anthony got MX Express ATV Super Cross en Encore for a dollar. <laughs> I opened the case. It's got Zelda, Spyro, and another game inside the case. <laughs> Works out nice. This road's way too narrow, especially for that big. <laughs> And we're going to head back into town now. There's a lot of people set up, but not a lot of game people set up. Most of the people had the occasional game. Still got some good deals. Um, still a good trip. Just for the vendor per game average was crazy. Because I showed a little bit of how many vendors and how many people there were. Just pretty dry for anything gaming related. Was basketball. Basketball, that's a good price. That game's a hard move either way, guys. Didn't find anything at Valley. Now at Goodwill, we get these two for three a piece. NBA Jam Blood Rain, they're both complete. All right, guys, I'm at work now. Yes, I'm working on the 4th of July, it sucks. Time to go over my pickups. Dollar for both. Spectrobes and Spec Ops. Free from Anthony, Platoon. Anthony picked up for two dollars and sold to me for 25. Def Jam Pride from Europe complete. Still can't believe you picked that up. Funny story about that. Actually, now I think I told you. He said, Hey, record how busy it is. I recorded it right when I started recording. Austin picked it up. Out of the Xbox lot, I got these two for 15. From Goodwill, I got NBA Jam and Blood Rain for six. Got Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat for five. Let's see. And then I got the Mortal Kombat Armageddon, the San Andreas and Labor City Stories for five, and then the Suffering one and two, and Siren for two dollars. So not too bad of a day. I'm gonna spend like forty hours and alone. Deck jam's worth that. Um, the N64 that I got for seven, I went to Anthony. Um, I did 10 trade and 10 cash for it, so I made three dollars cash and just had to buy me and yeah, I made three dollars in cash and just had ten dollars towards trading credit. Um, pretty successful day. Didn't have to wake up crazy early, go out there, but some pretty good deals overall. Um, definitely gonna be heading back soon. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you've been picking up lately in the comment section below. I always like seeing that. Stay tuned for more.